If you've ever found yourself on the go with a phone, a tablet, a laptop, and a half dozen other gadgets that get Wi-Fi, you've probably given some thought to tethering, mobile hotspots, and 4G LTE internet. I'm Graham for Wireless Wave TV, and today we're going to look at the different ways that you can get online. The first is probably the easiest, your wireless hotspot. Your phone, whether it's an Android, an iPhone, a Windows phone, or a BlackBerry 10 device, can share its internet connection by creating a pocket of Wi-Fi. Now, these pockets are password protected, which should prevent people from using your data, giving you a nice, fast, secure way to browse the web on the go, or to do other things like getting your email and gaming. Now, the tough part about turning your phone into a hotspot is that it'll burn through battery faster. Check out our video blog on portable power to see how you can crack that problem. Next up, we've got internet sticks. Now, these are used almost exclusively with laptops. They have a high-speed cellular radio inside them, letting you tap into your carrier's network on the go. Unless your carrier offers a unified number service like Rogers One Number, you won't be able to talk or text with this plan, but you can use services like Google Voice and Skype through the data connection. This one right here is a Rogers LTE rocket stick. It connects up to the LTE network and even has space for up to 32 gigabytes of memory on board, so you can use it for shuttling your files around. You should also know that you do need to pay for a plan to go with an internet stick like this. Now the big brother to internet sticks is a wireless hotspot. Now just like your phone, this creates a pocket of Wi-Fi for you to connect to. So why would you want one? Well, it's a dedicated device with its own battery, a bigger antenna, and a handy on-off switch, making it simple to get going. Hotspots like the Rogers MiFi can give you the 4G LTE connection that you want without draining your phone's battery. That's incredibly important if you're trying to work through the entire day. Finally, we've got the heavy duty solution, the Rogers Rocket Hub. Now, 4G LTE hubs are fast, powerful, and they connect to power, so they're semi-portable. These are handy for anyone who can take the time to set up, either in a remote office, a hotel room, or a coffee shop with particularly patient staff. So that's how you can connect your stuff, but what if you've got a tablet and a phone that both have 4G, and you don't want two bills? Well, that's where plan sharing comes in. Now, it's not offered by every provider, but if you're with one of the big three, you can pair your phone and your tablet together for a nominal fee and use the same bucket of data for both. You don't need to have both devices with you for it to work. They're just drawing from the same data pool. So with these tips in mind, you can be more productive on the go. If you want to know more about internet sharing or how to upgrade to a phone that can do it, head into a wireless wave location and a wireless specialist will help you find exactly what you need. I'm Graham for Wireless Wave TV. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.